Irish Parliament, uh, and then um, there was a vote in the, the, after our vote, there was a vote in the Irish Parliament, and there was a vote in the Spanish Parliament, and today the, the vote that Manuel has just told you about in the French Parliament, by 339 votes to 151, which is uh, hugely welcome. Um, and um, I, I hope that that will lead to further votes in, in other parliaments. I believe the Belgian Parliament uh, will be next on our list, uh, and maybe the, the Danish Parliament, um, to, to persuade them to, to, to vote the same way. Of course, it's true that it, even the French vote is a non-binding vote, but the French Foreign Minister, Laurent Fabius, said during the debate, uh, promised that the French government will recognize Palestine, so not immediately, but within a period of two years, by November 2016, before the date of the next US election. Uh, and it could be earlier than that. Uh, basically, they're saying they will recognize um, they will recognize Palestine by November 2016 anyway, um, even if a, a um, full settlement of the conflict hasn't been reached by then. It's, it's a deadline by which the conflict has to be settled before they recognize Palestine. Um, so let's, <coughs> let's talk a bit about the decision in this building on October 13th. Um, We've uh, been working on it for a, a long time, and uh, but nevertheless, when the result was flashed up, uh, 274 votes to 12, uh, it took even us by surprise that the majority was, was so big. Um, uh, and by us, I mean all those of us who've been lobbying to, uh, it in the run-up to this debate. Two years ago, in the, if there had been a similar debate in this building uh, on the recognition of Palestine, it would have been lost. Uh, the Israeli, the pro-Israelis would have won, and um, I think what has happened has happened during the course of this year. The MPs were very shocked, first by the uh, deliberate torpedoing of the Kerry talks by uh, by the Israelis when they announced uh, another settlement at the uh, in the end of April, as John Kerry himself said when he was interviewed by the. He was questioned by the, the U.S. Uh, Foreign Relations Committee uh, when this uh, <coughs> announcement was made that they were going to build yet another settlement in, in East Jerusalem. <coughs> Boom! That was it. That was what he said. That was what what ruined what, what torpedoed the talks. Then we had in the, in June, of course, we had the kidnapping of three uh, um, Israelis, uh, immediately followed by the burning alive of a 15-year-old. <coughs> Palestinian boy. So the, 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 Israel, the Israelis were murdered. Okay. The Israelis weren't kidnapped, Martin. They were murdered. Excuse me. Can, can, can he talk and then we will give you a chance to speak? Yeah. And then I think the MPs were very shocked by the sheer brutality of the uh, uh, assault on Gaza, um, which, as you know, killed uh, 502 children, <coughs> of which 501 were Palestinian. Um, and then, finally, the salt in the wound, the announcement of uh, four more settlements uh, in East Jerusalem, in the East Jerusalem area, uh, in September, which uh, was um, what, um, I think, uh, shocked many MPs most of all. But, of course, you, the, the, um, the reason for the vote was partly because of these shocks that, uh, to MPs but also there, there had been um, a very successful lobbying campaign. And uh, within, in the last in 11 days before the vote, uh, MPs received 57,800 emails from their constituents. And, uh, and uh, sure we all want to welcome Khaled Mahmoud, who's just came into the room. Uh, I'm sure he will be joining us here on the platform. So, and uh, those 57,000 uh, emails, that's just from one website. And these are the websites where you can go and you can put your postcode in, and up comes a letter to send to your MP, and you can write whatever you like, or you can use a, a pro forma letter. So these, these uh, letters are all from different people, and they're all from constituents. So if you think about 57,000, there are probably far more than that in total, but some MPs, some individual MPs, received over a thousand emails. Now, when I was an MP, I can tell you that if I ever got more than a hundred or two 
200 emails on a single subject, a single post, yeah. I would sit up and listen. I would be terrified because I had a small majority, a very marginal seat, 